now let us learn the laws of exponents so what are the different laws of exponents so we will learn one by one laws of exponents so the first one is multiplying the terms with same base multiplying the terms with the same base for example 2 power 4 into 2 to the power of 3 2 raised to the power of 4 into 2 raised to the power of 3 so these two numbers are multiplied these two terms are multiplied but these two terms are the same base so yeah, 2 to the power of 4 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 to the power of 3 means 2 is multiplied 3 times. So then this equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 2 is actually multiplied 7 times. 2 to the power of 7. Uh, this can be written as 2 to the power of 7 can be written as in terms of 4 and 3. So 4 to 4 plus 3. So we can write that 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 3 equals to 2 to the power of 4 plus 3. So in general we can write a to the power of m into a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m plus n. Now let us prove how this formula if a power m into a to the power of n equals to here a is multiplied m times a into a into into a m times into a to the power of n means a is multiplied n times so a into a into into a n times so this equals to a into a into a into into a so a is multiplied now m plus n times when a is multiplied m plus n times then we write a to the power of m plus n so we can write a to the power of m into a to the power of n equals to a to the power of m plus n so when the terms are multiplied with the same base then the two exponents must be added with the same base a so this is the first law of exponents now the second law is exponent of exponent the second law of exponents is exponent of exponent so for example 2 to the power of 4 all to the power of 3 so here 2 raised to the power of 4 and this whole thing raised to the power of 3 so then we write 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 4 by using the first law of exponents we can write 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 plus 4 so this equals to 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 4 12 and this 2 to the power of 12 can be written as the product of these two exponents 4 into 2 to the power of 4 into 3 so we can write 2 to the power of 4 whole to the power of 3 equals to 2 to the power of 4 into 3 so when the exponent of the exponent is given then we multiply both the exponents with the same base if we generalize this formula in terms of a m and n so we write a to the power of m whole to the power of n equals to a to the power of mn now let us prove this formula a to the power of m whole to the power of n equals to a power m into a power m into and so on a to the power of m so total it is multiplied n times and this equals to a to the power of using the first law of exponents a to the power of m plus m plus and so on plus m 
n times. Now this equals to a to the power of if m is added three times we get three m. If m is added ten times we get ten m. If m is added n times we get m n. So therefore a to the power of m whole to the power of n equals to a to the power of m into n. So this is the second law of exponents. Now the next one is the third law of exponents is exponent of a product. Exponent of a product. So if 3 power 4 into 5 to the power of 4 is there. So then 3 is multiplied 4 times. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into here 5 is also multiplied 4 times. So 5 into 5 into 5 into 5. So then we write now 3 into 5 and this 3 into 5 and 3 into 5 into 3 into 5. We are 3 into 5 is multiplied 4 times. So we write 3 into 5 whole to the power of 4. So then we can write that 3 power 4 into 5 to the power of 4 equals to 3 into 5 whole to the power of 4. So in general we can write a to the power of m into b to the power of m equals to a into b whole to the power of m. Now if we prove this formula a to the power of m into b to the power of m equals to a into a into into a. So this is m times into again b into b into b. So this is also multiplied m times. Here a is multiplied m times and whereas here also a is b is multiplied m times. So if you club these two products then we get a into b into a into b into a into b into a into b up to a into b. So this is also multiplied m times. If a into b is multiplied m times then we write a into b whole to the power of m whole a into b raised to the power of m. So therefore we can write a to the power of m into b to the power of m equals to a into b whole to the power of m. So this is the third law of exponents. Now let us see the division of exponents. Now division of exponents So this first negative exponents so for example 2 to the power of 4 equals to 16 where 2 is multiplied 4 times so 2 to the power of 3 equals to 8 16 divided by 2 then 2 to the power of 2 equals to 4 so 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 equals to 2. So 4 divided by 2 equals to 2. Then 2 to the power of 0 equals 2. So when 2 is divided by again 2, then we get the quotient as 1. Then 2 to the power of minus 1 equals to again if 1 is divided by 2, then we get 1 by 2. Then 2 to the power of minus 2 equals to 1 by 2 divided by 2. Then we get 1 by 4 again 2 to the power of minus 3 equals to if 1 by 4 divided by 2 we get 1 by 8. So this 2 to the power of minus 1 can be written as 1 by 2 here yeah, 2 to the power of 0 is 1 then 2 to the power of minus 1 equals to 1 by 2 and 2 to the power of minus 2 equals to 1 by 4 so that is same as 1 by 2 to the power of 2 and 2 to the power of minus 3 equals to 1 by 8 and that is same as 
वन बै टू टू दि पवर आफ थ्री सो इन जनरल वी कैन रईट एट दि पवर आफ मन एस एन ईक्वल टू वन बै एट दि पवर आफ एन नौ दीरो एक्सपोने जीरो एक्सपोने सो इफ As we have already observed here, that two power zero equals to one. Similarly, we can write two power zero equals to one. Similarly, we can write three to the power zero equals to one, four power zero equals to one. Then, in general, for any non-zero integer, y eight to the power zero equals to one. so if any non zero number raised to the power of 0 is 1 and when we take the negative exponent then e to the power of minus n equals to 1 by e to the power of plus n